so guys welcome back to um, Hanley Stoke-on-Trent and uh, for you who are local who will know what's been happening uh, one of Stoke-on-Trent's most iconic pubs has been set on fire the circumstances are not known yet um, a 63 year old man and a 30 I think it's 38, 53 year old woman has been arrested um, I believe the body's been found, I don't know, I think I might have heard that, I don't know um, but this is this is what's happening at the moment two, three days on from the incident uh, the place is closed off it's a no-go area fire engines, as you can see they're doing their investigation continuing um, sad to see really but I guess we've got to let them get on with the investigation but yeah it's not the it's not the first time a building has gone up and fire here in Stoke the iconic leopard pub in Burslem listed building um, was set on fire under what uh, I suppose we can say mysterious circumstances but, um, yeah it's sad to see I wanted to try and get a bit further in but obviously I'm not going to interfere with the crime scene um, but this is probably more for my viewers who live in New Zealand, Australia, America, China, wherever you guys are, just to keep you informed of what's what's happening. Uh, so guys, so this is the the other side of the street now, where you can see where it's been sealed off. I'll just let these people pass, I won't get I'll go around. It's alright, I don't want anybody on camera from the from the police. Um so yeah, it's not a great deal to see. As you can just see at the top there where it's burnt through, the old central offices now, X Yates's wine bar. Um, but yeah, sad, sad to see. When this has um, been cleared as a crime scene, I will try and get a bit further in and probably get a drone drone footage over to see what we can what we can see. Um, I don't want to interfere with anything at the moment. I have spoke to the the officers here and they're fine with me just filming here from the public highway. So, but yeah, another iconic building gone, sadly. Right, let's go see what else we can see. You all right, bud? Fella? Mate? Well, this guy's puking his ring up but he's bent over. Buddy? Aye. Oh, I think we're going to have to get some, uh, some help here. Mate? Mate, you're being sick. I don't want you choking on it. Right, let's go get some help. So you go, guys, we're gonna go. Just gonna stop filming and uh, go down to the police where we've just been. They're the nearest port to call here. <laughs> Um, yeah, he's in the hunched up position, sitting down, and okay. sick is just continuously pouring from his mouth. Oh gosh, can you see him taking at least one breath every 10 seconds? Uh, let me just see. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is, he is moving, okay, but he's good. not conscious as, as such. I've tried to wake him up. You said he's, he's grunting, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. it's obviously drug is use. There, are you on your own? No, I'm on my own. Um, okay, not to worry. Uh, we 
Are you able to stay with him until we arrive? I'm going to stay on the line with you as well. Yeah, I can stay with um, him. I've tried to, to um, steer him, but there's, there's nothing happening. It's obviously, it's, like I say, it's obviously okay. drug use, but... Just be drug use. Just make sure you stay, keep yourself safe as well. Yeah, I've actually got my camera rolling as I'm, as I'm talking to you, just to cover myself. Um, well, it's just in case. Yeah. Um, so constantly vomiting, um, not no i'm just concerned that this guy i mean it's still dribbling from him um and i've been here now the last five minutes i'm concerned if he goes into the you know lying down <laughs> it's, Choke on it. yeah yeah oh yeah sorry i've just seen the sign yeah. it's called stafford lane so stafford lane. Let me just yeah Can you see it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the person in question has got an orange high vis. Oh no, sorry, it's an orange fleece jacket and jeans. Else with him. No, I was just no. sitting on a step, yeah. Okay. Um, are you aware of him having a seizure in the last hour? Don't worry if you've only just... No, no, I've just walked up here and discovered him, yeah. Does he appear to be injured? Can you see any blood? Anything no. Like no, I can't see no blood, nothing, no. Is he lying down or is he sat up? Did you say? He's sitting down but hunched over, so... The sick is just like I say, pouring from him. It's just that if he goes over, I'm concerned. What you need to do is to put him in the recovery position, but I completely appreciate it might not be safe. Yeah. So, um, I won't ask you to do that for now. Just keep an eye on his breathing exactly as you're doing. Okay. Um, I mean, this lane that I'm on is actually an eye drug use area. Uh, there's some of them hanging round at the top at the moment so it's, it's not an area you really want to hang round too long. <laughs> no, no, if you don't feel safe you can come away, that's absolutely fine. I would never want to put you in a position where you, yeah, where you yeah. don't feel safe. Uh, potentially come to the end of the road where the ambulance can meet you or wherever yeah. you feel safe. Like I'll, okay, I'll make my way there, can. yeah. Okay. It's maddening though, there's people who've walked past here and obviously not rang you know <laughs> it's, sad, it's sort of sad isn't it yeah think that they, uh, yeah they would. i know the uh, i know the troubles that they can bring but it's still a human being at the end of the day who's exactly in a bad way you know exactly i really appreciate you bringing the help in uh -huh. hopefully let us help him yeah i can hear sirens now i don't know if that's the yeah, yeah. It, should, it should definitely should be there. They're coming down. So guys, I've cut the video and uh, let the, the emergency services do their thing there. They've turned up. Um, they're going to whip him off to hospital. Now, I understand this video is going to offend some of you uh, people just like my last couple of videos did of the homeless and drug addicting drug, drug addicts accusing me of uh, forcing cameras in the face uh, look no matter what you guys get offended about this is the reality I'm reporting on ground zero so uh, you know I'm not going to ask somebody if I could just record them because I'm recording the reality of the, the, the decline of this city um, 
I've made sure the guy is safe. So, but I just want to, before we go, I just want to show you the street we're in now and the reality of this city and everything you've just seen. So, here, we have human shit. Here, more shit. And just as we walk up here, there's some more. The reason I know this is because I walked down here earlier and I thought, yeah, I'll grab that on camera on my way back uh, back home. So, this is nothing new, by the way. This is what's all over this city centre. Addicts, abandoned needles, human shit. jumper more here that's just this one street here that used to be the back of the old British home stalls and uh, Marks and Spencers that's the reality what's that that's the reality of living in this city massive Drug problems, massive amounts of syringes abandoned everywhere, shit on every corner, human shit. So, if me documenting this and filming people offends you, then uh, this channel's probably not for you because that's what I'll be continue to do. My uh, you know it, I have issues with the the addicts and the problems they bring and their drug dealers. I think everybody in this city does. I've said it before, I'm not gonna keep going over it, it's a grey area, a very grey area. But when you see something like you've just seen there with a guy that's could possibly just choke on his own vomit no matter what your thoughts if you've got a moral compass compass it should uh, it should kick in so before anybody posts comments saying oh you're just posting for likes and for people's troubles no 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 I'm posting history, I'm documenting it, I'm documenting reality, so if you're offended by what I put, like I say, there's other channels where you can go watch pink fluffy clouds and marshmallow streets, but I'm documenting the history and the reality of my own town and the decline of it in real time so until the next one I'll see you